Scorpio. I like that the mood is kind of like settling and the night is just upon me. I like that, the, that it's getting a little bit darker in here, but there's still enough light to illuminate and see. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. Welcome back to all you wonderful, beautiful Scorpios. Your constant support has literally made this channel a success. My full gratitude to you. Thank you. Um, for those of you who are just finding my channel because it's been recommended or because it came up in you know your suggested videos, this is Born Without Boundaries and my name is Michelle. We talk real honest, real straight. Yes, I have. Yeah, I, I do have a potty mouth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break I hate to break it to you. Um, I don't mince words and I just tell the truth. At least the truth is how I see it. And I'll just be honest with everything that I see. So Scorpio, this is your weekly reading, uh, tarot and oracle card reading for October 4th through October 15th. 2019 general energies this is an oracle card reading that's what we do over here on youtube down below in the description box you will find a link to the vimeo video which is a deep read full tarot card spread and this a romance specific reading that's over on vimeo if you want to go join us later but right now we start off the energies with an oracle card reading if anybody out there is on a platform that insists you watch commercials there will be a commercial coming up in a couple of seconds let me tell you right now that is your donation to the channel that is your way of helping me grow. It literally contributes so much and you don't even have to watch the commercial. You can literally go get some popcorn or something or go to the bathroom, <laughs> whatever it is. Just let, the, just let it play and I'll be back in a couple seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you for enduring. And for those of you who are just coming back once again, thank you for your contribution by letting that video run, by letting that commercial run. There will be no more commercials throughout the rest of this video. Scorpio. I, okay, I, I, I was shuffling the deck. I just finished up the Libra video. And two cards popped out to me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna share them with you because they're you. Spider Spirit and Raven or Crow. Immediately I thought of Halloween. Immediately I thought of All Souls Day. Immediately I thought of magic. Immedi immediately I thought of darkness giving way to light. Something that is uh, something that can see in the dark. Bearing the light. That's what Raven does. Raven bears the light out of the darkness. He, he, he brings the truth from the underworld. And he delivers it out to the people. Um, and of course Spider is the weaver. A weave, weaving is like a master spell caster. In other words, they create and they invent the spells that everybody else ends up speaking. These are creatures that are both very, they're associated with nocturnal. Um, even though crow is not nocturnal, they're associated with the night. Both of these animals are associated with the night. I don't think most spiders are nocturnal either, but they're all associated with the night. Why? Because of their darker color because of their outward appearance. What doesn't, what doesn't ring clear and ring very, what doesn't present itself as obvious Scorpio is the depth of their beauty, of their intellect and their capabilities. Usually people toss these, both of these animals aside as too dark, too frightening. In other words, these two uh, animal totems usually scare the shit out of people. Right, And because of that, they miss the illumination that occurs with these two animals present. Uh, raven is associated with death, and spider is, of course, associated with poison. <laughs> Neither of which scares you at all. So, let's get into the full reading. What I feel from these cards is like a song to you. It's like a song and a celebration to the dark beauty that is you, this perception, this, this moodiness that can be about you, this drama, this intensity, this, the either a hundred percent, like this, 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 like literally, literally wallowing or completely consumed by what you are feeling and what you are experiencing or, or this, this sort of way of you sometimes not caring at all. <laughs> um, essentially, it is the divine mystery. And as we 
fall deeper and deeper into the autumn season and the days get shorter and shorter, we start to communicate much more with our scorpionic side. Pluto takes over in terms of our mentality and the dark side starts to fascinate us. And so this week, this week, this week's reading, Scorpio starts out with just how fascinating people think you are, just how frightening and alluring that fear is to them. Now from you, from you, there's a whole different understanding about who you are and what you mean. And also there's this sense of, please don't let the wrong people in. <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna say that right now because tis the season, first of all, of love and being amorous, which you guys are gonna attract anyway. But there's also the season of everybody sort of playing around with powers that they're not fully capable of handling. And that's not the kind of person I want to find you, Scorpio. And I know that's not the kind of person that you want to find. The issue is the way that people present themselves is deceptive, sort of manipulative, or maybe even not even intentionally manipulative, Scorpio, but... But um, they can lock down your sensitivities and sensibilities without even understanding. It's, it's, and for those of you who are Wiccan out there, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I am not, I'm not a Wiccan, but it's people who play around with spells that don't understand the gravity and the weight and the depth of commitment you need to make them. People who play around with the occult because it's fun. It's like, you know, wearing witches hats during a parade down the street, which is totally cool, man. Like we can all have fun and celebrate it. You don't have to be serious about anything. There is a jovility and beauty in the jovility about the season, but that's not where Scorpios live. Scorpios live in the deep rooted truth of everything, which is the darkness. And there's these sort of novices that would like to play in your space that really don't get you, deserve you, or understand you. And so this week, the big sign here for me is beware the novices, Scorpio. Beware the novices. It's totally, and what, what would you be looking for? Well, this is where your ability to sniff the truth really comes in. It is totally okay for somebody to not feel comfortable. I remember, you know what, please don't hate me for this. Let me share with you a story of the mob wives. And I don't even watch that reality show. I think I watched it a couple of times with a friend of mine. There's something that's itching my nose. So essentially what, what um, I think this was before, um, who was the most famous mob wife? What was her name? I have her mom, Angie, Big, Big Ange, Big Ange. Um, she had said something. She was like, it's totally cool if you're not mob. She goes, that's totally cool. If, if you're just outside of the mob, if you're, you're in that normal zone, you call the cops when, when you have trouble because that's what, that's what you do. That's, that's part of who you are. And that's cool. She said, but you don't say that you're in the mob and then go and call the cops anyway. Because that's not how we handle things. You know what I'm saying? Like she broke it down. She was like, I have friends that aren't involved in the mob. She goes, I have, I have, I have people who are not part of this lifestyle. She goes, I could be friends with anybody. But the, the sincerity, this is the thing. So in other words, those outsiders are not something that you would necessarily, that aren't, they're not bad for you. As a matter of fact, they can be very good for you. Beware of the people who pretend they are what they're not. Because this whole conversation was with Big Ange was about somebody who was saying, oh, I'm mob, I'm mob, I'm mob, I'm talking mob, talking mob. But then she went and called the cops. And she went and sued people and used lawyers and the traditional judicial system. She's like, that's not how the mob works. And that's what I'm saying, Scorpio, is beware of the people, not the people who are outside of you, who are not as dark, who, who, who have different sensibilities than you, but the people who pretend to be you, to be like you, to get you, to live in your world, who sort of want to like visit Hades, you know, just to play, <laughs> you know, 
beware of those motherfuckers this week because there's this intensity. There's an intensifying as that full moon draws near. It gets larger. It gets more influential to make people want to play around in the shadows and feel a little bit safer because there's illumination there. And that's what you do, Scorpio. You make people feel um, safe in the dark places. Things that scare them, if they have a Scorpio near them, will all of a sudden not, not be so scary. And then they can like dance around and hop around and feel oh so good. But they don't fucking belong there. And you'll end up taking care of these people for the rest of the duration until they get sick of being there. And then what will you be left with? You know, maybe hopefully you'll just be left in peace because you're tired of the shit, right? But others will get extremely drained by people who really are just there for you to protect them and keep them safe. But what are their full capabilities of keeping themselves safe? And do they even belong in the world? It is okay, Scorpio, for you in the darkness to fall in love with the light. It is okay because you have access to the light. And the light is a truth, as long as the, 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 the light knows what it is, right? That's sort of the partner that you want to look for, is that person who knows what they are. Even if they are diametric opposite to what you are and who you are, as long as they know who they are and they're very, very clear about who they are, that is a very good match for you. Because you need that level of sincerity. It's, it's almost like the one thing, the one way that people can deceive you is if they actually use all that you are against you because you have such a big fucking heart. So beware of the pretenders this week, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying. You don't want the pretenders. The pretenders who float around and flip around and are so interested in you because you excite them. Because you excite them and you intensify their lives and you volumize everything that they are. Great, that's you filling them. But then what are you left with? So beware of the pretenders this week because as we slip closer and closer to that full moon, people are going to feel bolder and bolder in the darkness. Now that's where you live all the time. And I'm asking you, especially this week, Scorpio, to be particular, particularly protective of your home front and, and the, the, the pretenders who would tread in that area or walk closer and closer to it when they can't really handle themselves. Because essentially what it means is you're going to be responsible for them. You're going to be responsible for them. And as exciting and tantalizing as that sounds now, at the end of the day, it's going to be too much of a mouthful. I know this sounds crazy, but imagine a spider trying to catch a raven. A spider's got to be very particular with the trap that they set. It's got to be, it's got to be uh, enough. It's got to be, it's, it's got to make sense, right? Also, why would a spider try to capture a raven when they're two different dynamics that should be in somehow compatible energies? In other words, don't eat away at yourself in order to allow somebody else free reign over your domain. God, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Now, what else came out? Slow and steady wins the weight race. <laughs> this is my little Cancerian card. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the Cancerian. <laughs> this is the Cancerian card. Not that you're dealing with a Cancerian. But that there is a sense of, this week, self-protection. You see, Cancers and Scorpios are usually very good at self-protection too. But sometimes, you'll hide even from... Hold on one second. I had to turn on the light because even though I was really enjoying the natural light, um, the camera starts getting wonky and it starts having this like heartbeat to it. So here we have slow and steady wins the race, um, Scorpio. Someone's trying to get to you. But it's not somebody that would normally catch your interest. And I've been saying this for quite some time.
Well, first of all, what, what I was saying before I had to turn on the light was be protected and be guarded this week. Like feel the flow through a mantle this week because beware of the pretenders who would try to just have access to you anyway. However, this is a very, this is a very gentle energy. And I feel like it, there is a gentle energy coming toward you. And perhaps because it's not like everything else is trying to get darker now. Everything else is trying to get deeper. And then there's this gentle energy that literally is like swimming in the warm, bright water. And it's like, it's, it's sort of intrigued you, hasn't it? It's almost like you don't know what to do with this person. You don't know. It's funny, there's a juxtaposition here and that's what it is. The juxtaposition is everybody at this season is trying to get darker because they're fucking around with the occult, the occult and they, and they, you know, they want to play. So everybody is trying to get darker and trying to latch on to you. You, Scorpio, on the other hand, are getting more and more intrigued with something that is lighter, something that is more playful, something that is calmer and more steady. It's almost like this this period this period in your life where you're just like almost less and less intrigued by things that are seedy and dark and mysterious and more and more intrigued by wait a second I just heard this the greatest mystery to you is the light the greatest mystery to you is a person that thrives in the light the greatest mystery the greatest intrigue, what you would really want to inquire into and inspect. What is drawing you and pulling you is that diametric opposite this week. Now, this may not be in a form of a person. It may be in the form of a concept. It may be in the form of a, a book or an interest or a philosophy. But what's really calling to you this week is completely different. It's almost like I think I said this to you last week, what is attractive to you, to, what is attracted to you is not attractive to you. And so focus this week on this slow and steady wins the race. They're coming to you. They're, I'm going to turn around the cards. Hold on one second. Okay, here you go. Okay, so, and I'm glad I laid the cards down because they actually make more sense. It's almost like what you were weaving. See, you start the ideas in the dark. It all starts in the dark. And now what you were weaving is probably, is finally coming to light. So it's almost like what, or whatever was being woven regarding you is finally coming to light because Raven brings things to light. It delivers the truth. And that is the perfect, the perfect theme for Libra season, which is the scales, you know, the scales, the truth, justice, balance. Um, but, but it's deeper than that. This is a truth, Scorpio, that started way deep down from a place that didn't have any definition from the dark. And it was something that you've been working on for quite some while, whittling it, whittling it, whittling it, whittling it, and, and, and weaving it. You were weaving it. It's like your spell has been growing and getting stronger, and now it's being cast, and it's being brought to light. And I have a feeling it has to do with somebody else. It's almost like you were manifesting a specific energy, a specific kind of person. But it was very slow moving, and it had to be. It had to be slow because it was very, very particular. And when things are pushing themselves out of the dark, they take their damn sweet time. But this person has been hearing you. They've been hearing your call. This opportunity has been hearing you. They've been feeling you. They've been, they've been following. They're protected too. They're guarded. They, they, they're, they're, oh my God, Jesus. I want to get this right. And the <sighs> 
slowly but surely they're getting their way to you. I just feel like slowly but surely they're so determined. I it's like they don't even they don't even know where they're going. They're just going there. They're just hoping that whatever direction they move in is going to get them closer to this place that they feel right. And the place that they feel right is a dark place, but it's not an evil place. It's a beautiful place. It's a place of infinite possibilities. It's a place of divine wisdom. It's your space. So there's this, there's this slow creeping energy. But when I say creeping, it's not creeping. It's almost like they're protecting themselves, but they're going with the flow. They're trying to trust the flow, that the flow is just going to lead them directly to you. Meanwhile, you're over here trying to like ward off or, or differentiate between the, the fakers, the, the, the would-bees, the, um, what do you call them? Not the has-beens, the, um, Scorpio, not the, not the, um, the wannabes, the wannabes. This isn't a wannabe. This is something so different from you. It's like, how, how will you find your way to each other? And maybe that's the spell that you're weaving, is that portal to open up and finally make that connection. It's like a long overdue connection. But this week, there are going to be people that are so, that are, it's almost like the wannabes are flooding in and creating blocks. Like that will be the block to this, this flow, this energy this week, this pure energy, this true energy. This slow moving, wise, steady, reliable, like all of those things that would normally bore the crap. It's not boring. For, forget that. It's not boring. It's intrigued you. It's so different than you. It's sexy. It's what you love so much because it's a complete and total switch up from everything that you understand and know. And with your very curious mind, you want to go deep into this person's depths, depths that maybe depths of the light, like how deep can the light get? You know, you want to know everything about this person, this energy, let's say, let's call it an energy now, since this is still a general reading, but this week, the wannabes are going to get in your fucking way. It, not permanently. This is a weekly energy. Not permanently. But, but it, and, and even, not even like maliciously. They're just going to, you, you're going to see, like they're so attracted to what you are and who you are. You're going to get a lot of people who would like hang on to you, cling on to you, try to weave their spell on you, try to, try to be like you, try to be with you. It's a wannabe. It's somebody who wants the energy that you have, but you already have the energy that you have. And there's only so intriguing. You can find these people who really just want a show. It's like you, they want you to perform, but you're too smart to perform. You're not a circus act. This is a totally different energy. This is an energy that's free flowing. That's nurturing. That's patient. That's wise. That's kind. And it's got a very, like I said, this is a Cancerian card for me. This is the upside of Cancerian. Another a card in this deck that's a downside to Cancerian is the clean out the clutter, the clingy card. But this isn't it. This is the mothering. This is the nurturing card. This, so in other words, it, like I said, it doesn't have to be a Cancerian. This is an energy of somebody who would care about you for your, your sake, for the sake of you. But they definitely do it not in the way that here's some more drugs, here's some more sex, let me suck your dick, you know, which can be hot, which can be awesome. And all these wannabes are going to jump in and try to do and try to be. But the wonderful, beautiful thing about this person is they really just want to like take care of you. It's a very warm, loving nature. Some of you could be going home and returning home for a visit this week. Going to a place that you haven't been in a while where, and honestly, the energy is just very pure. There's nothing hidden. It's all, it's not on the surface as in shallow. It's on the surface as in everything is revealed. 
everything that it is 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 what it is it's it's everything that it is like the turtle the sea turtle is an interesting turtle because they don't retract into their shell like a tortoise or like a crab they have a hard protected shell just because they need it but it's there and it's a part of them and it's it's an obvious part of them from the day that they're born so essentially this is a creature that is what i said wise and old and it has a steady truthful honest energy to it and it's coming to you and honestly you're begging for it you want it so badly in your life but this week and it's on its way it's just slow moving so there's a two-part message here scorpio this energy is on its way to you i get that it's slow moving but the frustration with the frustrating thing about this week is going to be the wannabes the people who are just so into Everything that you're already into, which ends up not being what you want. Now that sounds nuts. I know that sounds nuts, but they want me to show you this card too, which is dripping in honey, which is sweetness, decadence. This in this card in of itself is like is sexuality, is is um is uh, productivity, fertility, fertility. But in a way, in a very, what, like I said, nurturing way. In a way that if, the, if you met this person and they wanted to fuck for hours, it's also the person that simultaneously you would want to have children with. Because it's an energy that you don't just want to play with or play in or dissect or ingest you want to bond it with you you see that it's a part of you that it will make you bigger this person will expand you this energy will expand you you could be thinking about this is also a part of wisdom a higher learning maybe you're learning things about spells or astrology or the occult you know and you're you're going to a sage or a shaman to teach you but this is an illuminating energy. This is this is this is an energy that you're being drawn to because you actually want to grow and expand and develop and create yourself into a better better version of who you are. But beware this week of the wannabes. Because they will they will clutter up you they will clutter up your web. They will clutter up your spells. They'll put your spells in their mouth and laughingly repeat them and think that they're playing with something and they don't understand it and then you're going to have to go and take care of them and and handle it and protect them and un, un untangle all the stupid shit that they did because they they're really not a spider they really don't know how to spin a web and now they're all tangled in it it's like that is this week for you so this week can be very very frustrating but spiritually spiritually it will not be frustrating at all spiritually the illumination is going to grow stronger so where your mind will be very frustrated it will be very oh i'm tired of this crap your heart will be expanding and growing because this energy is getting closer and closer to you and you can feel it the illumination is near scorpio that light in the dark, that that shine that you have inside you is that is a shine that something is that energy is coming on the outside. It's another entity that's the same as it, it's it's the same shine. This one's coming from the outside and you have it inside. And it's probably your beacon light that you've lit and your beacon light that it's being drawn to. So that goodness and that nurture, that, that, that healthy energy, it's coming to you. It's coming. It's just going to be very difficult this week. Just, just remember this week to keep it safe above anything. To keep that, that sense of soulfulness and spirituality safe above anything this week with everybody else. More and more and more as we fall closer and closer to the full moon and to Scorpio season. All those wannabes are going to try to clutter up your space. Don't take responsibility for them, Scorpio. They're not your responsibility. If they want to go and fuck around in the underworld, don't feel like you have to protect them and save them. What you have to protect and save is that beautiful light 
that is the that glowing inside of you that is acting as a beacon for this energy this energy of nurturing and love and truth and clarity that you're drawing into you this is what you really have to protect this week Names, places, faces, time spans, all of those I'm going to, I'm going to illuminate using tarot over on Vimeo. Do a little deeper read and a specific romance read to see exactly how this pertains to romance. Hopefully I will see you guys over there. If not, leave comments below or leave comments both places. I love to see what's 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 going on this week because there is a little bit of an ambiguity this week that is frustrating. It's frustrating because well, let's go see. I'll see you there. Oh, I'm sorry guys, the link is below, just in the description box. Well, you know. I'll see you over there. <laughs>